Hi guys, Black Hills Mommy here. So, you know, first of all, it finally dawned on me that when I'm going to record in here, try turning off the overhead light. Kind of reduces some of the glare. So, as you can see today, I decided to go ahead and play with fake eyelashes again. Got them on a little bit better than last time. Uh, not quite as painful of a process. Still got a little ways to go, but I'm learning. And hopefully this month I've got a friend coming to town who's going to teach me uh, true techniques and, well, probably even the right lashes to wear. So I look forward to that. Um, the other thing I came on, I was originally going to do this video because I got a new box from Zulily and there's some stuff that's coming that I'm super excited to share, stuff I wanted to try. I thought, eh, why not try it with everybody? It's kind of fun doing that. But I opened the box. It's a pair of slippers. I, I don't think you guys need me to try those for you. So, so I don't have that, but I do have another box coming. It should be here in a couple days. Um, there's some, I actually can't even remember what all I ordered. Some really cool brush cleaners for my makeup brushes. There was some pore cleaning strips, not the, like the Biore ones that we all saw originally come out. Um, but a different brand. It's like a Japanese brand that, that looked fun. Um, as well as a mask or something. And speaking of masks, I have to preface this and let you guys know that when this stuff gets here, I'm going to go ahead and show it as soon as it gets here so we can look at it together. But I realized something last night. I was going to try another product and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to do on camera. Um, I know some people think it might be kind of weird um, to be recording myself doing all of this. But you know what? I have fun doing it. And I've had several people tell me that they enjoy watching it. So why not? If I'm willing, you're interested, let's do it. So anyhow, there is a product I was going to try. I picked it up after Christmas at Target. They had these activated charcoal detoxifying facial masks from Spa Life. And I thought that'd be kind of fun. Okay, I was finally going to use it. Well, here's the problem. When you have as many allergies as I do, you really have to check ingredients, even in your beauty products. This actually, I was reading, I was like, okay, it's got a lot of chemicals. Anybody who knows me knows I avoid a lot of chemical products, but I mean, it wasn't horrible until I got to the soybean seed extract. Okay. It's a detoxifying mask. And I know there's a lot of MLM companies out there, MLM, that will try and tell you, oh, it's just a detox. Oh, it's all good. You know, allergic reactions don't happen. Hmm. BS. Okay. When you have a lot of allergies, it is not just food that you eat. It is stuff that you put on your body. Do you remember school science lessons where we're taught that our skin is the largest organ of our body? Okay, well, that's still true as an adult. And if I put something on my skin that I'm allergic to, I'm going to react to it. Putting soy on my face, oh my gosh, can you imagine the breakouts I would have. They wouldn't just be, you know, a few little blemishes or something. I would have full on festering. Oh, this is gross. I'm sorry, but full on festering sores that are like pimples and it would take forever to heal and I would have the marks from it. So I'm not going to use this. However, what I would love to do, I'm not sure how all this works. So I'm hoping I'm doing this legally. Somebody let me know if I'm not. I would like to actually give this away. I will mail this to somebody when I hit 100 subscribers. Now, I am going to put a deadline on that. I want it to happen here in February. So if you could, please share the videos, share my channel, like it, comment. But the most important thing right now is to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell them they're not going to want to miss the stuff I do. Um, and I know all the videos on here are really random. That happens. I'm pretty random. It happens. So I would like to send this as a thank you gift to one lucky, lucky subscriber when we hit 100 subscribers. Now it's on you guys to help me out with that. I've been advertising my channel where I can. I would like for you guys to share it with me too. So please do that. I will send this out. And as soon as the other box gets here from Zulily, I'm going to open it up and share it. And we'll read the ingredients together and see whether or not that's something I can use or who knows? Maybe the gift pot's going to grow. We'll see what happens. Thanks. See you guys later.